to walk you through what accessories come with this machine and where they actually go. I've actually already opened them up and from the little plastic bag that came in the triangular box and placed them in the openings. Now notice there is a few extra places for bobbins and additional feet. So your regular foot, foot A, that comes on the machine, that is your standard presser foot. Now there's also a letter B. The B foot has a cutout underneath it is great for all your decorative stitches. Now your machine will tell you which one of these feet to put on. So you always want to read the screen and know exactly where you're going. So when it says put A on, put A. When it says to put B, switch to B. It really will give you a better stitch. So from B, we also have D is the blind hem foot. We will do a video on all these different accessories. But you'll notice that it actually has a small toe on one side and a bigger toe on the other and they're offset. They're not level, they're offset to help with the blind hem, makes beautiful blind hems, used a sewing advisor, takes care of everything. Just going to down the line here, um, foot H is a non-stick foot. You'll notice it has a, a slippery underneath side, so great for vinyls, leathers, anything that's laminated. Oh, this will just slide right over it, making it very easy. Foot J is your overlock foot. It's going to be kind of a one-toed with a little pin in here, and that pin is going to help so when you your stitch jumps over the edge of the fabric, it won't roll your fabric, it will support it. Also, you will include a, this is just like a foot B, but it's clear, so, so a transparent foot B, because underneath it's got the cutout, but it's great because it's got the red lines to really let you line up your decorative stitches when you are sewing. Now, foot R looks a little funny. This is the foot for your embroidery or free motion quilting. Now, a note, there is two other feet that are, I would say, much better suited for embroidery, the sensor Q foot, and for free motion quilting, there is an open and toe free motion spring action foot that I would prefer. It really does a better job as it bounces on your fabric, but you have the foot with your machine that you would need. Now foot C is the manual buttonhole foot. Now you also have, and it's going to be down in here, a automatic buttonhole foot. You'll notice that they look identical, just this one has the sensor and the plug-in that makes things just smoother than wonderful. So just a little note, th this foot has a little nub here, and on your accessory tray, I'm going to tip this in, this last little guy, there he is, has a hole that sits in, that foot really does need to sit into that spot because then your lid will close. And then foot E is your zipper foot. It's nice and big, it's because it's got two sides. You either attach it on the left or the right. Now bobbins, you do have six bobbins with this machine. You'll have the green bobbins, but there are some great colorful bobbins you can get. You'll have um, five in here and then one in your machine. So definitely check, check out. And well, um, there's a good little trick about winding bobbins that I'll show you because you do have a bobbin sensor. In other words, it'll tell you before you run out of bobbin, and I want to show you that. So make sure you watch that video because there's some little extra guys in there. You'll have your USB stick. This you must have in your machine or have a USB stick in to use the embroidery. That's where your designs are. You've got needles, a nice assortment. I really like that they put in um, everything from universal wing needle, stretch jeans, and embroidery needles. You have a nice setup there. This is a nice little um, clean the screen type item. And then with this, you do have a variety of spool caps. So depending on your big bigness, <laughs> um, the size of your spool, you'll have small, medium, and large ones, and some extra ones in case you are using a double or twin needle. Some felt pads to go underneath your spool. If it's standing straight up and, and it's spinning, that's the vertical one. You also have a light uh, a light bulb remover. This will slide right up inside here and let you twist that right on out. A screwdriver for a couple different things. This is a multi-purpose tool. It's great for getting up and over jeans and the hems there. It also is to be used when you insert a needle. See that little hole? It is squared off at the top, so when you drop a needle in, the flat side stays to the back. Makes it really easy to get in and out. You don't have to have your fingers in so tight in there. A great little holder, and it's great for sewing on buttons. It will leave the little shank of thread needed depending on how thick your button is. You can use the thick side or the thin side. A disappearing fabric marker, some thread nets if you have some thread that's kind of falling off the spool, a brush. We're going to show you how to clean it. Way down at the bottom here, we got two additional things. We actually have two of these. Here we go. They're stuck. These actually are non-stick stickers that you can place on any of these other feet that will allow it to go across those vinyls or um, 
uh, leather type fabrics and so you can just add those to any feet that you have and then you also have a seam ripper. Now one other note that's down in this accessory box, you see this little um, holder down here with little uh, openings, you can drop a extra needles. So if you have some needles that are partially used, you can drop those right in there. There's even room for a double needle. So awesome. So we're going to put all this back in. It does fit on the back of your machine, which is nice because there is actually an opening. Um, so if you want a nice little work surface, I always leave that attached and it's really easy to get in and out of my accessories as I need them. So we're ready to get started, get threaded, wind a bobbin, and let's get sewing.